Okay, so the biggest reason why I decided to film this video is because I won a Huda Beauty giveaway. So excited. I almost didn't even enter, but for some reason I just decided to. So I got the package here. I'm so excited. I do know what it looks like. Obviously, it's been um, going viral and um, it's been doing so well. And I'm so proud of Huda. Um, and yes, I'm so excited. I am so excited. So, first things first, I am going to be just doing the, like, my face. I'm going to speed it up just because, you know, you've seen me do it before. There's a few new products that I do want to try out, obviously, besides the new palette from Huda Beauty. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoy. Okay, so I just got back from vacation, so my face is way lighter than the rest of my body, as you can tell. So I'm going to be using my Holy Grail uh, foundation, not just because of the formula, but it's just my go-to when I have a tan. Um, it's the Huda Beauty uh, Full Filter in Toffee. And I figured I might use it anyways because um, I'm gonna be using her new palette, so I thought that it was very fitting. I usually like to put like one and a half pumps. And yes, yeah, so I'm gonna speed all this up because again, you've seen this before on my channel. So I finished pretty much my face. I'm gonna do some last minute touches later. I just wanted to start off right now by opening up the package. So pretty. I like that it came with a bag too because I travel so much. So this would be super, super useful. And this is what it looks like. Again, I'm sure you guys have seen it all on like Instagram and everywhere, um, but yeah. I'm not gonna do any swatches because again, it's all over the place, but this is what I got. So I obviously got the beautiful palette. I love the packaging and packaging to me is everything. I mean, the product itself has to be like phenomenal, but you know. Huda Beauty never disappoints. I am a huge fan of hers, but you know, just the details of this is like sickening. It's so cool. And this is so cute. I got the new Huda Moji. I think this is like a, just a little air freshener, but I've never, I didn't even know that she had this. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna download the app. Seems fun. And then I got all the new brushes that came with the new palette so this is the first one you can see maybe not so much but this one is a little bit more tapered which I love this is kind of cool because it's like angled this one I always see her using and I'm like this is so cool because it really can grab the product a lot easier than maybe not that this wouldn't but like if you have like a pressed you know, uh, like glitter. This I think will pick it up really nice. And then just like a flat, flat brush. So I like that they're like dual ended because if you're on the go, I mean, it's better than having six brushes. You have three and then they're double ended. So yeah, this is so cute. Again, I'm so excited and I appreciate it that I even won this. I know that the grand prize winner, I think it was, um, I don't know her name obviously, but, um, I forget her username, but it was so cute because she's a single mom and I was so happy that she won um, just so she can spoil herself, you know, because I'm sure her life is, you know, all about like her beautiful um, baby. So congratulations to you. And uh, yeah, so I figured I might, you know, film a tutorial on this. And what's cool about this palette, I feel like there's a lot of really cool, interesting colors. But there's everyday type of colors as well. It's not that type of palette that, you know, you have to, you know, um, have this really bright color on. Like, if you see what I'm wearing, I'm gonna I mean, I'm gonna make it work. Um, but yeah, let's see. It's always different seeing the palette up close versus online. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I 
love it. Oh my gosh, it is way nicer in real life. I love that there's glitter and that there is matte shades because I'm more personally like more of a matte type of girl, but I do like a sparkle here and there and it really does, you know, just kind of elevate the whole look. So I am so, so, so excited to try this. I was thinking, I mean, what's cool is there's some transition shades, like, you know, some of these, you know, um, this one in particular. This one is called Crash. I think that one's really cool. You could even do Karma, which is just this little bit deeper. That would be more my skin tone. And then I think I want to play with Hot Mess because I feel like it would go perfect with my outfit. And then just might maybe add a little bit of sparkle. Maybe I might do Galaxy, which is this one right here. It's hard to see. I mean, like I said, I know you guys have probably seen swatches. That's why I'm not going to swatch. Um, but if this is a better view right here. But it's kind of like a pretty gold champagne type of color. But yeah, like even all these are really nice too. I'm going to use all of them eventually. I just figured like with this look, I'm just going to stick with these colors right here. But I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to be grabbing Crash, which is this one right here on this fluffy um, side of the brush. And this one is called, this brush is called Pack and Buff, just in case if you were interested. I'm just putting it all over my crease. If you want a subtle like contour kind of quick look, this on its own is just pretty because it gives you it gives you some um, you know definition. So pretty. Okay, so then I am going to be grabbing. Actually, I'm thinking I'm going to grab the same side because I actually really like this brush. I'm going to be using Hot Mess, which is this kind of like. I would kind of say it's like purple cranberry-ish color. I'm just gonna grab a little bit. Just all over my crease. I did not use a primer. All I used was my concealer that I um, had underneath my eyes. I blended it on top of my lids. And that's what I usually use when I do eyeshadow. If you feel like you need primer, by all means, I, it's so pretty. It's so nice. And this brush is beautiful. It blends everything so seamlessly. So nice. Like, I just kind of put it on and it looked messy, but see how it's so easy to blend. It's very blendable. So if you're new to makeup or you're in a rush, I mean, this is just a nice palette to work with. The brush is really good. So nice. Okay. Well, you know what I just noticed? This one right here, Super Moon. That's really nice. I don't know if you guys can see it or if it's even like picking up. Yeah, probably not just the way the angle and the lighting is but that one's really really pretty it's kind of like reminds me of snow it's so like glistening and frosty it's so pretty kind of just like bringing it outwards a little bit Now I'm going to be taking this little brush right here, grabbing that um, same color of Crash, just kind of transitioning that and putting that on the bottom as well. And connecting it to the top. I 
I just feel like whenever I put eyeshadow on top, I just have to put a little bit on the bottom. I don't feel like I need an excessive amount, but I need something. I can't just leave, leave it bare. Just to me, it doesn't look right on me. I really like how it looks so far. I'm just gonna grab that blending brush again, the same one, and just kind of, I'm not adding any product. I'm just kind of blending just a little bit more. And I didn't, like, I didn't even use a lot of product, so it's very pigmented. A little goes a long way. And I usually, like, bake underneath, but I don't know if you guys can see, but I don't think I see any fallout at all. So pretty. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of brightness just right here and I'm actually going to use that same like the, the fluffy side I'm going to use the opposite end of that and I am going to go with the shade momentum and it's kind of like lighter than my skin tone so I feel like it's really going to clean it up really nice oh yeah kind of just brightened it all up I don't want to do a cut crease so I, I don't want to grab um, my concealer but you see the difference, you just kind of opened up my eyes a little bit more. And I'm bringing it all the way up to my brow bone, like just like this first half. But it just kind of, like I said, cleaned up a little bit. Okay, so now I am going to be grabbing this side of the brush. And then this one is the Sparkle and Shine. So yeah, this is, like I said, like this is the one I thought that would be really pretty to pick up. Um, like those pretty shadows that has the sparkle, like it's a good brush for it, I mean. So I'm just grabbing a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see, it picked up quite a bit. I just want to grab a little bit like right there oh so subtle nothing too dramatic I'm gonna use the same color go like right so pretty you know what I'm really interested in trying I want to grab this little like pointier tapered side of the brush I want to grab that super moon like the very light frosted, the one I said that kind of reminds me of a snow. I'm gonna grab that a little bit and see how that looks under my brow bone. Yeah, see, that's such a pretty like light highlight. You see, so nice. That would have even been nice, like right on my tear duct. Let me actually do that. Yeah, see that like brightened it. It's really, really nice. Okay, so when I was away on vacation, I brought lashes with me, but I forgot um, lash glue. So I picked up the Huda Beauty Latex Free, it's the new Sticky Tack Lash Glue, and I really, really like it. I like the fact that if you're not a pro at putting lashes on, um, it's really nice because if you mess up, you can take it off and then just restick it. I mean, if you do it like 10 times, you're gonna have to reapply the glue. But overall, if you do it like two, three times, like I have, it's so easy to like mess up. It's just like maybe not your day to put lashes on. Um, it's just kind of like 
easy to to work with that's what i really like about it and especially that it's latex free i'm very sensitive so i find that this is one of the very rarest occasion where if i get a little bit of um, eyelash glue close to my eye my eye doesn't water so that's very important to me so i like the packaging too it just kind of looks like this simple but nice i'm going to be using the lily lashes in paris i use this uh, lash specifically for my wedding and i've been addicted ever since i know in my jennifer lopez um tutorial i did the one um i think it's called goddess that's like very very like and like on me it's a very dramatic and i know that's not even her most dramatic one um but i just like got that on a sale um, I think like last year, so I just decided to use it because it's like the most, um, it was the most suitable for that tutorial. But because I kind of just have this like cute little like dress and I don't want nothing like crazy dramatic, I just figured the Paris lash would be beautiful and it's just so me. It's just very like light and wispy and it's perfect for this look. Okay, so while my lashes are just drying, because um, I put the glue on, I'm going to be using um, my new highlighter. I just got this actually. I'm so behind. It's my first Fenty product. I know it's been like literally, how long has it been since she came out? Was it last year? I don't know. But I've always wanted to get something and then just, I always forget to. Like every time I go on Sephora. But anyways, I went to Sephora on my around my birthday when I was in Miami and I picked up this travel set it was really cool it wasn't even like a travel set but you know what they do like those value sets that's what it is the value set and it came with like three full-size products it came with the uh, anastasia clear brow gel and i'm a huge fan of that because i think i've mentioned that before in my previous um video that it's literally like hairspray before your eyebrows um it came with a nars uh lipstick a nice beautiful red lipstick and it came with a full-size um, Fenty highlighter and this one is in Mean Money Hustle Baby and I like it because you get like a blinding highlight here and you get the most subtle highlight here which is nice just for like every day or if you want to do this for every day either or I'm gonna like kind of like mix I feel like today so I'm gonna use uh, just a little fan brush I grab my finger okay let's go I miss anywhere I usually like to put a little bit right here And just blend it out. I like that look, like we're just right above your brow bone. Could do a little bit right here. so pretty and just kind of shows a little bit throughout the light so that's that and I'm gonna go put the lashes on and then I'll be right back okay so I finished off the eye look with um, the lashes and then um, again this is Lily lashes in the style Paris and then I took this eyeliner this is from Stila and it's one of my favorites like all their eyeliners are really really good because you know you get a little bit of um, time to just like quickly work with it smudge it out if you want that's why it's like the smudge liner um, but it stays put like it's waterproof I believe yeah waterproof smudge stick waterproof eyeliner and this one is called lion don't deep burgundy I do have lion fish I think that one's a really nice color too again check out their eyeliners they're amazing but this one for this specific look because I kind of have it's kind of like cranberry kind of look going um this is again called deep burgundy so i thought this was perfect so all i did was i lined the rim 
inside my eye and then I took just a little bit of the liner just right here to connect from where the lashes are all the way to the, my tear duct. So again, that just kind of like intensify the look a little bit. You could have done no lashes, you could have done the lashes without the eyeliner. I just kind of thought that it uh, went well really nicely. Um, and for lips, I'm gonna be using the Carly Bible El Maquillage Collaboration. Uh, I did do a review on this if you want to check it out. It's a really good product that they still have it. I believe it's a limited edition, but this specific combo is my everyday type of, you know, vibe. So what I've been doing lately is mixing up the two right here. So I use the lip liner in um, Luna. So I'm going to line my lips first with that. And I kind of learned this combo from Carly herself because it looked so good on her but I figured you know with this kind of outfit and the the whole vibe the cranberry kind of look um, it'd be perfect so A little overline the bottom and the top a trick is you never want to overline the whole lip if you want to overline a little bit just do the top and the bottom So now I want to grab Sirius. No, that one is the other one. Let's see, this is Sirius. Can just leave the lipstick alone like this but something that I learned recently again I, I saw it from Carly I really like that she kind of mixed them both so you kind of like lightened it up a little bit the two together it's kind of like a ombre type of look and I'm just grabbing my finger just kind of blending it out such a pretty mix do I want to add lip gloss or not I don't know I mean I love lip gloss I was thinking of adding the supernova I think I'm gonna let it be okay and last but not least I want to add a little bit of blush so I'm going to be using Gonna be using NARS Orgasm. Sure, you guys have seen this one many times. This is a oldie but goodie. And I love it because it just gives you like such a pretty glow. Like, see the difference? In I never used to wear blush. I don't know, I just was like not into it. I'm like, what's the point? And now I can't go without it. Just, I tried it like once and I'm like addicted. So I went out and bought so many. I always put a little like, a little bit on the nose. And there you go. 
go. Okay, so final thoughts. I do have to say I really, really enjoyed this palette a lot. It's one of those palettes where it's a splurge. Like I got lucky and you know, I was fortunate enough to win it as a giveaway, but I do have so many other Huda products and what I've always admired about her brand is that it's not just the quality of the packaging, it's really the formula too. Like it's really a good luxe brand and I can tell she put so much thought and energy into this and I'm so proud of her and I, you know, again, I'm so fortunate that I even won this and um, I've seen so many beautiful looks with uh, this palette and I can't wait to use this more. I can't wait to play with the colors even more, you know, even the ones that I'm, let's say, not so comfortable with. I think that's what's so beautiful about makeup is, you know, you play around with it, you know, it makes you feel good. If you don't like something, just easily wipe it away, start all over, you know, it's just kind of playing around with makeup, having fun. This is what it's all about, you know, feeling good. And again, I'm really happy that, you know, I got a chance to play with this little baby right here. And the brushes, if you are interested, I think that they're a really nice investment because they are literally the softest. The bristles are so soft. And I have been in the beauty industry for so many years and I've played in touch with so many different products. I can truly say that uh, they're easy to work with, especially like if you're new to makeup or not, you can, or if you're a professional, you can really appreciate them. Um, but yeah, I think it's really, really nice. The bag is cute because it's nice to travel and the whole like, you know, the whole like vibe of it, the color scheme is just amazing. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it as always. If you have any ideas of what you'd like to see on my channel, please um, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I always say that, but I just hope that you know you come back and that you enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to making many more videos for you guys. Thank you so much and thank you Huda. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I have new videos coming up. I also want to take this time to say special thank you to Huda and Huda Beauty, her lovely team for reaching out to me and letting me know that I won. Um, I'm so grateful and I think it's such a great product and the ones that do have it know what I'm talking about. It's just a really, really good palette and it's so different. And it's so nice that, you know, something different like this kind of came out because I feel like I kind of see the same stuff all the time. It's very repetitive. So it's just a cool idea, cool theme, and I'm so proud of her. And again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I'm so, so grateful and I love you all. Thank you so much.